What's up everybody, my name is Chance and today we're going to be playing a Solta Elementals deck. Which if I had to give the best description of it quickly, I'd say it's like the Teamer Elementals janky brother, right? Um, because basically what we're doing is still using Rhythm Reef. By the way, I had someone leave in the comments of the last video, a uh, YouTube video of uh, the pronunciation of this word. Rhythm, not Ryzen. I'm sorry. English. Uh, I am happy that he did that though, so at least now I can say it correctly from here on out. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's fun. It's like a Soul Tie Reanimate deck. Um, Thicket Crasher is probably, you know, I, I know people see that and like, oh, this is uh, not a good deck. But bear with me. We do have your rock and we'll draw the funness. We have Bolas Citadel. Thicket Crasher is really just in here because of the elemental synergy. Past that, um, I mean, honestly, you could just run more of the elementals you already have instead of running Thicket Crasher, but I'm trying to showcase a set here, right? I'm trying to showcase some new cards. So, before we hop into the deck tech or deck breakdown, I would like to remind everybody to leave a like down below and a comment in the comment section for any suggestions on this deck, future decks, or past decks. Uh, furthermore, consider subscribing if you're new here. It is free and uh, it does help support the channel and it gives you a notif notification, I'm sorry, every time I put out an awesome deck like this one. So. Um, oh, also we've been partnering with TCGPlayer.com, so anyone looking to help support the channel can head over there and use the promo code the new Dr. Spilkin, and all your purchases will, yeah, help go towards the channel. So into the deck tech or deck breakdown, we have four copies of Lana War Elves to help us ramp, four copies of Wild Growth Walker as it is an elemental, and it's going to help with, uh, well, gaining its life and becoming a big burly creature that can just swing in. Um, three Assassin's Trophy for some awesome removal, two copies of Fine Finality for either a board sweep or for getting back some of our creatures, three copies of Growth Spiral for more rampage slash card draw, two copies of Neoform because it is an awesome combo being able to Neoform the Rock, get down Moldrotha, and then play your Rock right back down because of Moldrotha, right? Which is a really nice synergy, and if you have a Risen Reef on your side of the board, then it's just even better, right? Um, so yeah, Neoform, pretty awesome. Um, Mu Yan Ling, Sky Dancer. I don't know, I'm probably saying that wrong. Anyways, um, able to create elementals. One, pretty awesome effect. Two, the plus two ability is like. What I've discovered is it makes her a really annoying planeswalker for the opponent. Like, they almost feel like they have to deal with her because they're just constantly losing power. Um, and if they don't deal with her right, you just keep creating these 4 4s, which nobody can afford that right and you can create them at a relatively quick rate um, one every two turns is not bad moving us down we have three copies of jade light ranger which is going to work wonders with wild growth walker especially if we have down your rock which is going to cause the the bonus basically to activate twice so yeah um and the bonus i mean exploring is going to cause her to explore twice um well four times i guess it's going to cause her to explore twice twice if that makes sense so moving us down we have two copies of overgrowth elemental which is honestly a pretty awesome elemental especially in a deck like this where if you go up against an opponent where they keep trying to remove your elementals you're at least going to gain life which is going to be awesome when you hit your bolas citadel and you're able to just basically restack your whole board right um and it can get really really big itself so yeah risen reef um we talked about this card yesterday if you haven't or maybe the day before we talked about it in our Teamer Elementals deck. Nonetheless, if you haven't seen that, go check it out. Furthermore, this card is awesome. <laughs> like, expect to see a whole lot of build arounds with this card. I'm, I'm honestly just taken back by it because the ability is just so amazing. It's not an explore effect where it leaves the card on top of your library. No, you get to put the card into your hand if it's not a land. And if it is a land, you get to put it on to the battlefield. So it's like a it's like a souped up explore ability, right? Moving in. Uh, down we have two copies of path to discovery which is obviously going to work great for wild growth walker as well as just making our creatures bigger getting lands out of our deck so we don't flood uh kind of you know we can still flood it's just we'll have the lands in our hand instead of them being drawn um thicket crasher i've already gone over it's sort of just added in because it is a nice little synergy with the elementals and if you happen to go up against a deck where you're just finding yourself not able to attack in because they have a whole bunch of token defenders, this really helps, giving all your other, other elementals trample. Then we do have one copy of Kanav Concoct, which I think only have one copy of, so, you know, bear with me. But this is an 
awesome way to get back one of your, your rocks or Moldratha or, you know, really whatever you need. Or you can gain control of a target creature if your opponent just has one that's, I don't know, really good. You know, maybe they have a huge Ajani and you're like, you know what? I like that. I'll be taking it. Anyways, one copy of Nisa as she does make your, um, your lands into elementals. One, two, she's just a busted card, right? She's awesome, so... Then we finally have your rock, the Desecrated, which is like the Solta Elemental, I wouldn't say Anthem Effect or Lord Effect, but it is like the Solta Elemental King piece, right? So, Death Touch Lifelink comes in at a 3-5. If a permanent entering the battlefield causes a triggered ability of a permanent you control to trigger, that ability triggers an additional time. So, Path of Discovery going to trigger an additional time. Um, Jade Light and Rangers Explore going to trigger an additional time. Risen Wreath going to trigger an additional time. So you can see kind of where that uh, that comes into play at. Um, furthermore, we have Bolas' Citadel, which is going to help us draw cards off the top of our library and uh, get in all of these awesome creatures that we've been talking about. Um, and it gives us an alt win con. Well, kind of alt win con. We can sacrifice 10 non land permanents and each opponent loses 10 life. And then finally, we have Moldratha from uh, Ixalan. I think that's Ixalan. Anyways, during each of your turns, you may play up to one target permanent card of each permanent type from your graveyard. So if we have Bola Citadel, we can get it back. If we have uh, Nisa, we can get her back. If we have a creature, we can get it back. And if we have a Path of Discovery, we can get it back all in the same turn if we can afford it, right? So that is uh, pretty strong. An ulterior way of doing this is to say maybe you don't want to go boss to citadel you can try using this card command the dread horde it is very similar effect similar cost it just doesn't stay onto the battlefield and it doesn't have that synergy with moldratha being able to return it from your graveyard so that is why i've opted for boss to citadel but uh yeah and we're two or we're two cards over 60 but you know what if y'all want to refine it do it y'all know i'm not I'm not here for the competitiveness, not yet at least, you know, time will come when I do. Um, but for right now, we're just going to keep having fun with these janks. And as I said, Sultai Elementals, it's like the janky brother of Teamer Elementals, and it is so fun. So we're going to hop into a game one now. Alrighty, here we are up against Damasta. Damasta. This is a very rampy opening hand. We're, we're going to keep it. Because, well, y'all know me, I, I love to ramp. <clears throat> it just feels good, right? Having having that much mana down, being able to play whatever you want. It's, uh, it's a nice feeling. <clears throat> I'm actually going to go Growth Spiral, Lana War. Wow, that's a Bolas. Next turn. <laughs> no way. That's a Bolas of Citadel next turn. How many turns have we had? That was one. That was two. So turn three, Bolas of Citadel. <laughs> I mean, obviously, they could just remove it with some artifact destruction. Red does have that. Um. But, or they could just kill one of my Lana Wars and then poof, you know, <laughs> dream gone. Um, but, but the dream is so real right now. Oh, they left it. They left it alone. It's happening. Turn three, Bolasa Citadel. Go, monkey, go. And we're going to play down a little bit. Let's see what we hit here. Moldratha. Oh. Okay, we're already down to 12, so I'm not going to play that, but... Wild Growth... Maybe I shouldn't have played the Jade Light that turn. Maybe I should have just saved it because I knew I had the Wild Growth right. Played the Wild Growth, played the Jade Light, then comboed off of Bolas of Citadel. Oh, they Lava Cooled the wrong one. No, no, you got to go for the Ryzen Reef there. Alrighty. Um, so, I go Wild Growth Walker. I have four mana. You know what? They exiled the Jade Light, which is really a pain in the ass. Whatever. Let's let's go big here. So take action. Let's go ahead and get down that Temple of Malady. Your rock. That's gonna 
that's going to come down, I think. Five mana. Permanent entering the battlefield. Uh, we're all the way down to five. Up against mono red. Can I do that? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. I think I'm playing a bit too risky there. Oh, well. You know what they say. Go big or go home. <laughs> so we, we have both of our Moldrothas. We have a Fawn, but again, nothing nothing to go finding. So if we can make it through this round, um, you know, your rock can heal us back up. We can we can get there. I'm I'm certain of it almost. <laughs> Goblin Chain Whirler. That's gonna hurt a lot of my creatures, but we're gonna live. So that's all that really matters. Now we can go ahead and fond if we wanna. Do we want to? Do we wanna? Do we wanna fond to? Or do we wanna just get down Moldrotha? Can't play anything after that though, right? So if we find we get back Rising Reef and a Land of War. Play the Rising Reef. Play the Land of War, I guess. <laughs> um Rising Reef will get us down another land. Do I really want to blow my Tell you what. We're gonna swing in with your rock no matter what, so at least to stop the timer to give us a little bit more time to think. Let's swing in with him. Now, do we want to go Moldrotha here? I think so. Moldrotha is a big target. This way we can save finality in case they do build up their board against us. So, we can go ahead and play that and see what else we get. Thicket Crasher, not really what we wanted there. Um, if we had played the forest, we could have activated Moldrotha and get back Lana War Elf. Yes, I know. Um, but I was really, really swinging for the fences and hoping for an explorer creature there. Or even a path of discovery which would lead us into a whole bunch of exploring on the next turn right so this is okay though we're, we're still in an okay spot oh they're playing dragons mono red dragons this just got more interesting all right what do we have on the top a lana war you're kidding me smalls you're kidding me are you killing me you're doing something to me and I just don't like it um <laughs> I almost just want to play this just to get it off the top, right? Tell you what, tell you what we're gonna do. If they shock my Iraq here, I'm gonna be slightly livid, but we can get it back. So it's not it's not the end of the world. What do you got for me, Damasta? Are you gonna do it? Are you gonna kill my Iraq? Ooh, block on the Moldratha. Okay, I mean that's that's fine, yeah. <laughs> We're back up to 10. Let's play this Llanowar, Jade Light. That's actually nice. We already have the Yurok down, so that's fun. Alright, so boom, boom. Library. Library. We just drew a crap ton of land. Uh, we can get a creature back with that. I guess that's fun. Oh. Alright, Damasta. Seen enough. <laughs> Yeah, once you once you get those cards down, it's it's really hard for your opponent to come back because your turns like there's so many options. There's so much you can do with it. So much room for activities. Anyways, we're gonna move on to a game two here. Dwe gonna be our next foe or D we. I don't know. I'm not i I'm not quite sure. Uh we're definitely gonna mulligan that. And this, what the hell? What's going on here, game? That's better, but we gotta put back two creatures, so I guess we'll put back one of the rocks and a Thicket Crasher, right? Because this can still turn out into something. Maybe. <laughs> We're gonna need a slight miracle here. Rise and Reef. Uh, if we could draw into another land, I'd be kinda alright with it. I have a fear that our opponent's going kinda aggro, though, so it's gonna be a bit difficult. Dreadhorde Invasion. Yeah. <laughs> Smelling kind of aggro y. Uh, another Rosin Reef, which can't come down yet, but, uh, you know, one day we'll make the dream come true. Whoops, almost smacked a can over on my desk. Gotta be careful. Lots of Depp Reaver. They're certainly going wide, um, or trying to at least. 
Well, I needed this land last turn, to be completely honest, but uh, I guess I'll still take it. Rise and Reef, peg action, enters tap. They always enter tap from Rise and Reef, so don't ever pay the two life. Um, but that does put us up to five, and you know what that means? That's a Yurok. And what's a Yurok? A Yurok is a Moldratha. And what's a Moldratha? A Moldratha is a Yurok right back. All right, so we got we got to play. We just gotta hope that they don't immediately remove it, right? So let's go your rock. Boom. And it is an elemental, so take action. And because it's your rock, we get twice the proc on Rise and Reef. So that is fantastic. No attacks. Now if we even draw into a Wild Growth Walker, scrap the Neoform plan. We're just gonna go Wild Growth Walker, Jade Light, gain a shit ton of life, right? So, the ball is in Dwee's court. Let's see what they do for it. Kind of feel like a golf announcer right now because there's like there's this kind of silence right about the field, and ow that hurts. Is that gonna kill my Yurok? I think so. Yep. Bye bye Yurok. It was nice having you. You were a a pleasant friend. Now we can go ahead and go ball the Citadel, but we're at ten health, so I say wah. Alright, let's see. Ryzen Reef, sure, take action. Neoform the Ryzen Reef, uh, no. Well, we would rather Neo, uh, Neoform the Jade Light. What do we hit here? Lana War, that's not good enough. Another Lana War, not good enough. <laughs> Where were those turn one when I needed you to ramp, right? It's okay. Um, we'll, we'll make do. We still have the Bolas of Citadel. We have plenty of land now, honestly. Um, I forget what four drop creatures we have because Yurok is a, it's a five, not a four. Uh, I think Thicket Crashers are four drop. Thicket Crasher doesn't really help here, but it would be a prop for, proc for the Rosin Reef. That actually hurts my feelings. Not gonna lie. Do we? You're kind of depressing me with all this, uh, all this mass removal, I'm not gonna lie, buddy. So yeah, Massacre Girl, that's a thing that exists. Um, again, Bolas of Citadel doesn't solve our problems. Thick Crasher plus Lana War doesn't really either, but we can Thicket Crasher and then Neoform the Thicket Crasher and get out a Yurok, so. You know, I guess, I guess that's fun. Please don't spell pierce me, I'll actually be kinda sad. <laughs> Alrighty, do we? Well, you know. <laughs> the deck doesn't fare too well against board wipes, but it is what it is. So we're going to move on to a game three here. And uh, fingers crossed we don't <laughs> run into two, two board wipes within the first, uh, first what, six, seven turns? Alrighty, here we are up against Bobby Wan Kanabi. Or Kenobi? Kanabi? I don't know. Um, well, seems like a good hand, so we'll, we'll keep. Hello. Hello to you too, Bobby. Um, yes, yes, hello, Bobby. Um, seems fine, because we do have the Risen Reef. Um, so yeah, we can, we can keep it. We can go with this. Goblin Electromancer, sure, sure, sure. So we want a turn to Risen Reef. Um, the Mirror Guildgate should be fine to give us that. Now I am a little worried because we're up against Izzet, and Izzet tends to have a lot of shocks and lightning strikes, which deal with our creatures rather well. But you know, it is what it is. Divination. Uh, no blocks. Alright, now I'll have to hope they don't have a lightning strike here. Let's see, let's see. Risen Reef. Path of Discovery. Okay. Um, what do we go next turn? Probably both of our Wild Growth Walkers. Or we go ahead and go Path and then Wild Growth Walkers just in case they have any lightning strikes, Wizards, Lightnings, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, it, it's going to make it a little bit harder to remove our Wild Growth Walkers, so... Seems seems like the smarter play. Enigma Drake. 
Okie dokie. Sounds sounds good. I mean you just keep playing creatures and stuff and I'll just uh I'll just keep playing my creatures and stuff. That's the that's the way I like to do it. That's the way uh huh uh huh I like it. No blocks. Alright, decision of the year. Wild growth or paths. I think path. I think we go for the path arena and pray they don't have a spell pierce. They didn't. Hallelujah. So now we'll just skip through our turn. We do have the assassin's trophy to deal with the drake. Fingers crossed they don't remove that. They keep hovering over it and I gotta say it's it's making me a little scared. If they do, we have ways to get it back. So as long as they don't lava cool it, it'll be it'll be all right. So. Quasi on the Enigma. Okay, so it's a quasi Drake deck. That's uh, that's cool. <clears throat> At least we're facing an interesting deck. So there's the bane fire. No, it's not what we wanted to see. Not that turn, at least, right? We were we were like one turn away from getting the Wild Growth Walker combo down with the Risen Reef. It'll still be nice because we'll still gain a lot of health. Hey, there's a Moldrotha, which could be good news, right? So let's go ahead and go Wild Growth. They are going to Lightning Strike this first one. Maybe I should have removed that Goblin Electromancer, then played my stuff, so they wouldn't have had the mana to do that, right? Alright, well, that does put us up to 6 mana, which is a Moldrotha, so that means we can start getting our stuff back. Risen Reef, I will keep. Um, we're back up to 14. The thing that's scary about that is they already have 8 damage with their Enigma Drakes. Um, if they do use Quasi again, they will go down to 3 damage, because they're not Crackling Drakes, so it only only goes off of the cards in the graveyard, not in exile, which is fantastic for us. We'd also go into a citadel next turn if we wanted to. That's kind of spicy, but Moldrotha honestly seems fine because we have a, the Risen Reef and a Wild Growth Walker already in the graveyard. Murmuring Mystic. Equally so, we might just want to go Risen Reef and Assassin's Trophy and take out one of those Enigma Drakes because they are they are scary. For sure, for sure. So we go Moldrotha. Next turn's huge for us. We go Risen Reef, Assassin's Trophy. We're pretty safe. So do we go safe or big for next turn? I say we go big for next turn. Y'all know my saying, go big or go home. We're going to go big, hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. And by the way, playing Moldrotha or Risen Reef would have all either way, we got more health back, so it's not like super scary, but at the same time they have eight damage in the sky right now. And uh with a goblin electromancer, is it can do some tricky stuff. We'll see. We will see, we will see. Murmuring Mystic is not good either, because they're gonna get a whole lot of birdies, and well, we're just we're not really equipped to deal with that many flyers, I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, goodness. All right, so they have quite <laughs> quite the board state now, yeah. Six fours on their drakes, a whole bunch of birdies. They they can really mess us up come next turn. So we're gonna need to gain a whole lot of life. We gotta play this just right, right? So we want to keep up enough for assassins trophies. So that's two mana. So if we play a risen reef, no. What we want to do is play Wild Growth into Risen Reef, I think. That'll give us the most health and still allow for us to cast Assassin's Trophy. So let's go ahead and cast this for Wild Growth. Um, yeah, I'll take another Wild Growth on top. <clears throat> Honestly, if I have to. And then we do this. Library. This will put the wild growth into our hand. And then we go next and keep the assassin's trophy back, I think. 
and no attacks. We'll get there. We'll we'll get to the point where we're swinging in. Also, to where we can get down Bolas' Citadel. This deck is just so so fun. It's so janky, but yet it's still viable, and that's why I'm, like I've been enjoying it so so much. And like my my girlfriend really loved the Bolas' Citadel, Wild Growth Walker, like you know that whole package, the Exploring Citadel deck. So this is this was like really a great transition from that deck into this if that makes sense because this this is so fun and it's it's kind of a similar feel to it I never back down from a challenge, I never back down from a challenge. Oh. oh yeah okay so I meant to meant to hit full control before oh well we do need to get rid of that row more than anything I think um, but he did still get rid of our wild growth walker we can of course bring it back with Moldratha so it's not uh, not huge Actually, it might even be better that he killed it, right? We can only play one card from our graveyard each turn. Well, I do think we get the wild growth back. And we play the wild growth from our hand next turn. They can deal a whole lot of damage in this, guys. They have 18, 20. Holy goodness. <laughs> Alright, let's go and play this wild growth. See what we hit. Growth Spiral. Do we want to draw into a Growth Spiral? Probably not. There's a lot better things. Take action. Yeah. Let us let us ramp a little bit. Okay. Cast this as a creature. Let's get back a Wild Growth. Um, Thicket Crasher. It's not a terrible draw. Can play this in and still have four mana and actually get down the Thicket Crasher. That sounds pretty good, right? Alright, so let's get one more proc off of everything, right? Where's my Yurok when I need it? Could you imagine how many procs we'd be getting right now if I had my Yurok on the field? Hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh, and we have the Neoform to get to the Yurok come next turn. That's fantastic. Thicket Crasher, like I said, actually not bad. So we could swing in with the Wild Growth, but the chances that they just double block with the Enigma Drakes is very real. Of course, we can always just get it right back, right? Because we have the Moldratha. So... Yeah, I say we go for it, right? Let's try to, let's try to take out some of their units. If not, we'll smash them in the face for none. Sweet. Alright, so yeah, next turn we can Neoform the Thicket Crasher and get out of your rock, and then we can play Thicket Crasher right back with Moldratha. Which seems seems like a you know fantastic play. Getting down your rock will be will be heavenly. So yeah, this this game's going well. And and we have such an interesting opponent, right? Quasi Drakes. Seems seems fun. We got some murmuring mystics. Lightning strike on my thicket crasher. That hurts. That hurts my feelings actually, and I bet you they don't even they don't even have a clue. So what we can do still is play the Moldratha, get the Thicket Crasher back, use the Neoform on the Thicket Crasher. And all this of course is just to get a your rock down. So that's that's where we want to be. We can of course just use Bolas' Citadel as well and go digging through our deck to try to find one. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. If we do that, that means we can play the Risen Reef back from our graveyard, and that might be worth it. Okay, so how much damage do they have in the skies now? <laughs> okay, same as what I said earlier. Nothing has changed. Ooh, into another Risen Reef, huh? Huh, huh, huh. How much does this cost? We'll still have one, two, three mana, four mana. Mmm. -hmm. That'll be four mana. So this is the same, and we'll still have four mana left over after we get that down to play a Risen Reef. Yeah, you know what? I want to get your rock. I want to get your rock down. So let's get the Thicket Crasher. Boom, boom. Can I concoct? I am going to library that, because we can take one of their Drakes and have have a Sky game against them. Oh, no, wait, we can't, because, can, yeah, right, 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 right. Um, but still, it's, it's pretty decent. Then we go Neo Form. All right, cheer. Your rock. Boom. We'll get double procs off of everything because he's now on the battlefield. 
Oh man, this is gonna be a long turn. I gotta get it all in. Oh, we have growth spirals as well, so we can ramp even harder. Let's go here. Growth spiral. Interland. Uh, I really want to play another Risen Reef, I'm not going to lie. It's just so strong. Uh, oh, we need a Thicket Crasher back. That's what we need. So, three mana. All, all we have is the Risen Reef. Right, right. Well, tell you what. Let's do it. <laughs> Library. We're going to draw out Mu Yang. Done. Done. There's probably a better way to order these. This I know, but uh, <clears throat> I currently have auto ordering on because of things like this. Fine finality. Yeah, sure, we'll keep it. That kills all their drakes, right? Um, boom, boom. I think. All right, we're at 84 health. They're at seven. Wait a minute, chance. Couldn't I have just played Bolasa Citadel, sacrificed my stuff and killed him? This is this is my problem, guys. It's a it's a serious problem. I have a jank addiction, <laughs> and it's why it's caused me to miss lethal many many a times. Side effects may include building shitty decks on the rare occasion. Um, <laughs> And and missing lethal, so let's bring these these bad boys to the front, and then Goblin Electromancer right there. I don't I don't know the math on it, but you know. Okay, Bobby Wan Kanabi. <laughs> um, great name, great great uh great match. It was a fun one, and yeah, I enjoyed. So as always, guys, if you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like down below, and I'll see y'all either later tonight or tomorrow. Peace.